Calls for justice are growing louder after another noose was found this week at the Amazon construction site in Windsor. It was the seventh noose found at that facility in the last month or so. The question is why? Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal, or Galil, pardon me, is live at the digital desk this morning. Aya, now a reward is being offered for any information that can lead to an arrest. Wendell, that's right. Amazon and the construction company are putting up a $100,000 reward for information that can help investigators find whoever is responsible. That reward has actually doubled. The construction site has been shut down until at least Monday as officials investigate. The Connecticut chapter of the NAACP feels more needs to be done to ensure safety at the site. The latest news was found at the facility on Wednesday. In this instance, it wasn't a hangman's knot, but the rope was tied off into a loop on one end. Investigators believe it was put at the site with the intention of sending an intimidating message. Last month, six ropes were found at the construction site. The NAACP says it's alarmed by the consistency of these hateful acts. Police would not directly say if they think the nooses are being placed by workers, but they have said security has increased at the facility in recent weeks, so it would be hard for someone not working at the site to gain access to the area. And now, argue if it's a noose or a rope, the same sentiment exists. Something was hung that creates fear, that is disrespectful, that's horrible, that brings up a, a horrid past in our country. And it cannot be tolerated. And a representative from Amazon was at the site on Thursday. Amazon says it won't tolerate this type of behavior and that the company is working closely with police and the FBI. Again, Amazon and the construction company are putting up a $100,000 reward for information that could help lead to an arrest. The site is expected to be back open again next week. Live at the Digital Desk this morning, Aya Channel 3 Eyewitness News.